As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Welcome back to another YouTube video. You're looking at your girl Lin Wei, and there is no way without going through the way. <laughs> back again with another youtube video as you can tell by the title of today's video i'm going to be talking about my face so this has been a long awaited video it's been a long time coming um i've been trying to i've shot different sections of this video i have tried like many alternatives and i've tried explaining my journey like it's been very mm, I've been having a difficult time with sharing my faith on YouTube because I feel like YouTube is bigger than Instagram. I feel like even though on Instagram I have like a thousand and something followers and 500 something subscribers, I still think that YouTube is a bigger spectrum to share. But then something in me was like, you have to share your faith. This is a part of your life that you can't hide from the world. It's it's that whole thing. I was convicted in, in the spirit that I'm comfortable with sharing other things, but not my faith. So I was like, you know what? I am going to, you know, because my glasses are disturbing the light. Like, they, see, the light is genuinely reflecting my glasses the whole time. So, but anyway, that's not important. Um, this video is about me speaking about my faith, obviously. So this is going to be the first episode of Holly Perspective. Um... Holy Perspective, yes. So, like, Holy Perspective is a series I longed to start. It's something I've been wanting to start. So, it's going to be HP. So, that's how, like, the title is going to be written HP. And then we're going to write the name. So, sometimes we're going to have panel discussions. Like, it's generally how to have the Holy Perspective. Like, <laughs> it's in the name. Like, it explains it there. So, the first episode, obviously, is me and my journey to this whole let me just take off my glasses because i feel like it's highly destructive and yeah and my journey to you know my journey basically my faith journey that's the right word who i don't even know where to start so i grew up in a seven-day adventist church i was raised by my grandmother so i went to seven-day adventist which is isabata in my language and then I spent quite a lot of time there, I think, but I was still too young to, you know, comprehend what I was being taught. But I, I knew the basic stories in the Bible, like, like how Jesus was born. Um, yeah, I think, you know, the story of Father Abraham, Noah and the Ark, all your basic biblical stories, I knew them at a very young age. So growing up, like from Seventh-day Adventist, I then moved into my moved in with my mom when I was seven years old, and then I started going to uh, Twelfth Apostolic Church of Christ or just Twelfth Apostle. I like things they're different, like these variations of them. But I used to wear a garment that was white completely, and then it had linings of red to represent. Like everything had a representation, so the linings of red was representing um, the blood that fell from the Christ's head going to his neck and then we had the ones on the hands represented uh him being nailed on the cross and then we would wear um what's this thing a tie rope around it, a, a red uh belt that fall on the left hand side because he was you know stabbed on the left hand side so everything was very representative i really liked the the garment and everything but one thing that throughout my faith journey around that time was that I longed for more. My spirit desired more. Like I've, I'm, I've always been in a position of wanting more of Jesus. I feel like I was born with the desire of God. Like I just wanted more of God. And being raised in an environment where God was there, but I didn't feel like we. I am in Him. You understand me? Like it's like I wanted more of who He was, but I was not getting that. So, with time, obviously. We, I, I continued to go to Twelfth Apostle. It was a very Holy Spirit driven church. We used to go for Passovers, Pentecostal, and we had the conference. So those were like 
it was a religious thing that we practiced like it was a ritual and a religion like a religious thing that you do it like constantly every single time of the year during easter we have a fast and so on so with time those things for me started feeling i started feeling emptiness i started feeling like i'm doing it just because and for the fact that there was a time i did not wear trousers i did not wear like i followed the bible so strictly but obviously i did do my hair and other stuff because of school and i wear a trouser at school and outside of that i didn't participate so i was then taught how to earn god's love so that's how when everything lines up a bit there and there because with time i got to learn that religion teaches you how to earn god's love and spirituality or christ like christianity as an identity then teaches you how like it doesn't even teach you how it just says you've received god's love now you're working from a place of love and not from a place of self-righteousness and that for me was a big thing because growing up in religious churches i was not taught about all those things i was taught that jesus christ died for your sins you must be as pure as clean as possible like you need to do so and so and so and forth and all of those stuff i was not taught that jesus was the fulfillment of the law i was taught that jesus died for my sins and i should be clean because he died for my sins which means i can't sin i can't do anything else outside of you know him and his presence so that became like a whole yeah a a defining moment for me because when i was then in grade 11 i was still going to serve um to talk apostle and then my mom started going to a pentecostal church that's what they call churches that like i think that's like i don't know genuinely let me not lie um pentecostal church so i started going there and when i got there they started like i remember they were speaking about Christmas time they're like something about those times and like how there's a biblical time then there's this time and so forth if i remember properly things like I, I i wasn't really paying attention because when i went there i went there with the maca i wanted to check out what is wrong with this church i mean they don't do this already they pray standing or they are disrespecting god like i had so many opinions because of how i was raised that's why i understand when someone tells me oh i go to a different church i'm like yeah. like just have an opportunity so when i moved into a pentecostal church i was i was then drawn into this thing because i wanted more my spirit wanted more i follow rules when i do something i do it i'm not a half-sided person i do everything with all that i am and i wanted more of god and when i got more of god or when i kept getting something being fed in the spirit and learning more about his word my mind started like reacting and aligning and my spirit felt empowered my spirit felt carried and that's why i continued going to a pentecostal church because i do understand that there are people that actually live in religion and feel empowered they feel what i feel when i'm in a pentecostal church because i know that there, there are people that are called to be in religious environments i was just not one of them because I wanted more. And when I got to a Pentecostal church, I got more. Then I moved to Cape Town to study. And then when I came here, um, it was all like, when you look at everything, when I tell you my story, like if you watched the previous video before this one about like my first university, my first university experience, how I met Mpumi instantly, the minute I like literally stepped onto the residence and she was she was so nice to me she assisted us with you know clothes and everything like and all those other things she was generally a nice person like a garden angel literally and she then led me to her church planet shakers I got to planet shakers and I'm why am I saying her church because that's my church now too and I'm telling you I felt at home I felt like my spirit was at peace and god is the god of peace and i felt at peace i felt at ease and i felt like i belonged like there was a part of me was like i want to do more in this church like the whole me going to church thing was not working i wanted to serve and i'm working towards that like i generally want to serve in the house of the lord because my heart is so into serving god so much that i want to do it for all the days of my life but yeah that is just like a gist of my faith walk and how I moved from a religious environment to a place where Christianity became my identity and not 
a style of living. Well, no, it became my identity and my lifestyle, but not a rule book that I had to follow. I don't, I don't know, like, I'm trying not to offend people that follow religious institutions, but okay, who cares? I mean, mm, I'm a child of God, I don't care. <laughs> that is so dramatic. But then, anyway, that is it for today's video please don't forget to like comment and let me know if you are if you love this like you know this new series that i'm starting we're gonna have a lot of fun in this series like i'm genuinely trying to expose people to what christianity or like yeah christianity is all about we're gonna have panels we're gonna it's, it's about to be really fun i just want to take you on this journey and we're gonna ride it all the way together and yeah see you guys in my next oh wait, 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 wait don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and remember there is no way without going through their way that's why i'm Linway. and then yeah see you guys in the next video